Here are 10 quick tips to make your sound the best it can be for your show using QLab. Headphones. Use over-ear headphones to listen back to your tracks when you're programming QLab. AirPods, in-ear headphones or laptop speakers aren't going to give you a true representation of what it sounds like. You may not even hear parts of the cue properly. If you're fancy, some Bose noise-cancelling headphones are the dream, or some DT770s are the preferred industry standard headphones. If that's not in your budget, most over-ear headphones will do the trick and give you a good enough sound when making the QLab file. High-quality audio files. Make sure that the sound files that you're working with are high quality. If they have a low bit rate or are very small files, chances are they're going to sound lifeless, hissy, and terrible when played through a sound system. Buy the tracks you need from iTunes, Amazon Music, or the best option is Bandcamp, where you can buy and download the highest quality audio files. A WAV, AIFF, or FLAC is the best, and a high bitrate MP3 is next best. Lovely labeling. Go through your cue list and make sure that every cue is clearly and accurately labeled. Use spaces, capital letters, and color them if you want. If the cue list is messy, it's going to be very hard to follow what's going on. Be neat and tidy so it's easier for the person operating the show. That way, they'll have the best chance of getting your sound right. Bundle. When you're saving your workspace, make sure that it's bundled. This is when QLab saves a copy of all of your audio files and places them into one new folder. This saves the computer unnecessarily working, trying to gather files from all over your computer, which could slow down the running of it or result in audio files getting lost. Bundling your workspace keeps everything together in one place. Backup. Keep a bundled backup of your workspace in at least two other places. Not just one, several places. Keep the master on one machine, perhaps an iMac or MacBook. Then keep a copy of the QLab bundle on a memory stick or two different memory sticks and another computer. Also keep a copy of it on the show computer for your venue. Keep these backups up to date. If you're making changes to your QLab file, make sure that you keep the backups updated too. And when backing up onto a USB stick, make sure that you have it with you in your bag. There's no use keeping it at home. Test it in the space. Working with headphones is great when creating or mixing your QLab workspace, but make sure that you test it out loud in the space at your venue using the sound system that's installed. Check that the aux jack lead from the mixer works and fits into the headphone jack of your Mac. When you play it in the space for the first time, you're going to have to adjust the volume levels so it sounds right in the space. You may discover that certain cues or effects are completely inaudible through the sound system, or other cues may be astonishingly loud and need bringing down. Make time to run through the cues, adjust any volume levels, and get it sounding perfect before any dress rehearsals or performances. Sound check track. At the start of your workspace, put a track that you can use as a sound check. Don't let the first cue in your piece be the first thing to be played through the system. I suggest using a piece of music that you know well, so you'll be able to tell quickly if it sounds bad or there's a problem. I like using Maroon 5's song, This Love, as it's punchy and really well produced. Surround this track in your workspace with some standby group cues that are empty so you can play the sound check track without risking starting the show cues by accident. Sound check teammate. When you're checking that the sound is sounding good in your performance space, have someone else listening with you. Move around the room and listen from the front, the back, and the sides where the audience will be. Don't just listen from where you operate the sound or the tech box, as it may sound drastically different to where the audience will be. Sit in the seats and listen from different places. Check that the quietest cue and the loudest cue are quiet enough and loud enough. If you're playing any loud sound effects or music, call out firing sound or firing bang or whatever the sound is out of courtesy for the people in the room. Do this before you play the cue. You don't want to deafen anyone or scare someone into injuring themselves if a huge noise suddenly plays and they've just entered the room. Smooth and clean. 
Go through all of your fade cues and start cues and check that they start and end smoothly and cleanly. Check that there are no sudden starts or abrupt ends. Adjust fade times to be longer, such as eight seconds rather than five seconds. If the cues are overlapping, make the fade out cues shorter, such as one or two seconds, and add in reverb tails at the end of tracks to make them punchy and clear. Absolute, not relative, fades. This confused me for ages using QLab, so I thought I'd pass this on to hopefully save you some drama. In QLab, there are two types of fade, an absolute fade, which is the default type, and a relative fade. Sometimes QLab thinks you want a relative fade, so gives you one. The easiest way to see this is the faders have an hourglass shape to them, and on the left, it says relative. An absolute fade has a rounded rectangle shape. Click on the drop down menu and change it to absolute. If it won't let you change it to absolute, delete the fade and put in a new one. Relative fades are not the one. So go through your workspace and double check that all of the fades are absolute and that no pesky relative fades have snuck in there. And that's it. 10 top tips for using QLab. If you're stuck, check out the QLab website. There are vast amounts of walkthroughs and tons of info on how things work in QLab. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do and the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.